Midjourney's video generator has been out for a few weeks, and already it's changing the game for creating animated images. The variety of styles it supports is truly stunning, but how do you actually use it? And what are the options you can set to best realize your vision? In this tutorial, I'll give you a crash course for using this new tool. So let's jump in. To use Midjourney's video features, you need to use the website version of Midjourney. It's available at midjourney.com. You can't do this in the Discord version. I highly recommend using the website anyway. It has tons more features than the Discord bot. Now, the first thing I recommend doing on the Midjourney website is going to the Explore page, then click on Videos, and just scroll through and see examples of the things that people have created so far. There's lots of stuff here that can inspire you and give you an idea of what's possible. If you click on a video, you can see the prompt that was used to make it. Eventually, of course, you'll want to create a video. So how do you do that? Well, creating a video in Midjourney requires an image to start with. This can be an image you created in Midjourney itself, or even an image you uploaded. Let's start by creating an image in Midjourney, and then we'll animate it. So I'll go to the Create tab here. Let's press Create. And I'll put a prompt in the prompt bar up here. I'll have a skeleton punk rocker playing guitar, and I have some other descriptions here. Let's submit. And this is just the normal process to create an image in Midjourney. And here I have my four image results. Let's click on one to animate it. I generated this one here and I kind of like the design. Now over here on the right, I have all the usual tools for editing an image. But if you look below it, we have these options to animate the image. If I click on any of these buttons, it will start an animation job. So what do these options actually mean? Well, let's discuss the motion options first. Low motion is going to keep the image relatively stable. It's gonna try not to move the camera or our subject too much. High motion is gonna give us more dynamic action. Now we also have these auto and manual categories. Auto means we don't need to enter a prompt. Midjourney will just generate it. And manual will give us a chance to actually enter a prompt. Let's create a video with low motion and auto. I'll click on this. And now notice over here, my create tab has a job running. And let's do one for manual with high motion. So I'll click on this. And notice how up here, it gives me a chance to modify my prompt. I'll enter some new text. I'll say a dragon flies across the sky. Then I'll press this arrow to submit it. Now I have two jobs running in my create tab. So let's go back to the create menu. I'll click create and the jobs are processing here. And just like generating an image, we're going to get four results for each of these submissions. Over on the right side, as usual, you can see the parameters for creating the video. So here's the result of our low motion generation. You can see the camera's mostly staying still. And here we have the high motion ones with our dragon added to it. So let's click into one of these results. This is one I generated and I like the output here. Down below, we have options to extend the video. And what this is gonna do is add another four seconds to the video. We can extend up to four times. And with our original video being five seconds, all those extensions can get us a total of a 21 second video. These options allow us to set the same parameters for the extension of the video. So we can choose the motion level and we can also have it auto generate or we can manually enter a prompt. Let's do manual low motion. So I'll press this and I'll add another parameter. Let's say explosions in the sky. So once again, I can submit it. And here's one of the results I got. We can see he's moving and we get an explosion. Not exactly what I wanted, but as usual with these AI tools, sometimes you have to try a couple times to get what you want. Now down here, you can see the timeline for the video. There's that black dot where you can see the extended part of the video. So this is the extension here. And that loops back to the beginning. Now in general, you can make videos from any image you like. All you have to do is drag it to the prompt bar up here. So I'm on the explore page. I can go to the images tab. And if you see an image you like through scrolling, let's scroll down. Let's say this one. I'll click and drag it up to the prompt bar. I'll let go. And I can see that if I submit this, it will be a video job. You can add text or you can just submit it. So let's submit it. I can go back to the create tab. It's processing here. And here we have these four results. You can also copy and paste images that you find online. I'm here on the website Unsplash. Let's scroll down here. Let's find some cool patterns to animate. I kind of like this one. I'll right click say copy image. Then if I go back to the toolbar here, I can right click and say paste. Now in this case, it pasted as an image prompt, but I can click and drag it over here to starting frame and that will be a video. And I can say something like moving planets, galaxy spirals. You can add to the prompt as you like. If I click the settings here, I can change the motion. So let's do high motion and let's submit it. And now we have the results of those renders. You can also upload your own images by clicking add images. Then you can choose a file and drop it there and drag it up to be a starting frame. To download a video, you can right click on it and choose among the download options here. We have social, raw video, and GIF. So what's the difference between these options? Well, the raw video is going to be the original file that Midjourney generated. Here on the Midjourney website, you can see the aspect ratio and how it's going to relate to video dimensions here. 
So when you download it in raw, you're gonna get one of these options. So this video here is three by two. Let's save it. I'll download raw video. It's coming down as an MP4. I'll call it raw. I'll save it. You can see it's 7.3 megabytes. That's gonna vary based on your video. But let's play this video. I'll pause it. It's in VLC right here. If I go to tools, media information, if I look at the codec, we can see the resolution 768 by 512. And that matches what we saw over here for the two to three aspect ratio, although it's reversed because we did the other way. Now the problem is that this is too low resolution for some social media platforms. When Midjourney Video originally got released, some platforms were rejecting these low res files. So Midjourney added the one to download for social. So you can download this here. I'll call it social. You can see it's a little bit bigger. Let's play it. If we look at the media information, you can see it's higher resolution here. So the social version is going to be a higher resolution. However, it's important to realize this was upscaled from the original result. So it wasn't actually generated in this original higher resolution. So the quality might not truly be at that level, but it should be supported by most social media platforms. And of course we can also download it as a GIF if you like. So I'll download as GIF. I'll just call it GIF. And you can play it like so. All of these quality and resolution settings are things that Midjourney is constantly working to improve, so I expect it'll get better with time. So now the big question, what does this all cost? In Midjourney, your subscription level comes with a certain number of GPU hours. If you look at the different plans here, you can see what you get. 15 hours on the standard plan, 30 hours on the pro plan. There's also a mega plan with 60 hours. According to Midjourney, generating an image takes about one minute of GPU time. And the guidance we've gotten is that generating a video takes eight times as much as an image. So eight minutes of GPU time for a video. However, this is a rough estimate and something that will surely change as time goes on. Now, one of the really cool things about the pro plan and above is that you can do unlimited relaxed image and video generations. When you do relax mode, your generations take longer, but the cost is lower. You can enable relax mode by going to the create menu, clicking the settings here, and enabling relax. In my experience, generating a video took about four minutes in relaxed mode, but I suspect this is highly dependent on time of day and load on the servers. But what's cool is that this really seems like Midjourney is probably the cheapest way to generate AI-based videos these days. So I think it's quite a good value. And I'm hoping that the cost goes down further as time goes on. If you wanna see more examples of what Midjourney video can do, check out my recent video with 101 examples. I think you'll be quite impressed with the variety of styles that Midjourney can create. I'll leave a link in the description below. Have you used Midjourney video? What do you think of it? Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.